Hey everyone, I'm back with a video three for my D stash. Uh, first two videos I did put in the description box what has already sold. So um, if you go back and watch those two, and if you're interested, um, you can look in there to make sure before you send me a message. So um, my D stashes are PayPal only. Send me a link or not a link, an uh, email to uh, Kelly Scrapper at Yahoo. I will be um, selling things out of my Etsy store and um, my craft room. I'll be selling all through the week. You can let me know at any time that you want to be invoiced. Otherwise, I will invoice everybody on, let's see, is today Friday? So let's um, give it till Friday. So I'm going to start this one is um, gonna start out at number 30. And on a lot of my laces and trims, which I still haven't gotten to, um, you know, I'm giving everybody a great deal. There's some things that, um, well, I don't think I have anything over $10, but um, I do give, you know, the quality and the quantity you get for the price, I believe is the best that I can do, okay? So that being said, this is um, number 30, and it is these super cute, um, they're handcrafted semi-stone buttons. It has a little pig, a flower sack, a sheep, a cow, a chicken with eggs, and a barn. And these are from Cache Junction. So that's number 30. Number 32, oh, 31, sorry, is this fringe trim. It's a navy blue with a uh, lighter blue in it. I mean, the blue almost looks a little black, but I think it's more of a navy blue. And, you know, to do the fringe, you just remove the, no, it's not going to work right now, but um, you just, yeah remove the string on the bottom and that fringes it up. So that's a dollar yard. Some of these, I'm not quite sure how many yards I have. So once it's gone, I will put it in the description box. This is number 32. Um, this is a Chinese braid trim. Really pretty um, pattern on this one. And it's a very soft, like satiny. Um, black trim and that's the dollar yard. Sorry for the rustling. This is number 33. It's over um it's over a fat quarter and um it could be about a half a yard. I can't remember what the measurements were on it, but it's a dollar fifty and you get these um has these little cats on it with little purses, super cute. Number um, 34, this is a fat quarter and it's sealed up here. I didn't wanna open the thing, but um, it's these coffee cups on here and that's $1.50. I think I might have two of them, but I'm not positive. I haven't seen the other one around yet. This is number 35 for $5, and it's a um, table scarf. And here is the um, embroidery on that. It's hand embroidered. And then it has these two in the middle and then these on the end. And I don't believe it has any stains on it, no holes. And it's gonna be about, let's see. Um, 18 and 18 is what, 32, 36, I'm sorry, wait. Yeah, 36 by, oops. Drop something off of the desk by 13. Oops. 
This is number 36 and um, it's $5. There's 18 blocks. This is the pattern on it. It just kind of varies in um, how they laid it out, but um, it, they're six by six and there's 18 blocks. Oops, I forgot to put this one in here. 37 is this um, really pretty braid trim and it's a uh, like a light coral color one a uh, dollar a yard for that one thirty eight is one and a half yards of this um, red I don't know what this is pom poms on here for a dollar. Let's see, 39. This one's ten dollars. It's filled with um, Venice trim. Some of it is newer, some of it is vintage, some are appliques. Um, instead of selling it separately, I just put it all in one big bundle and this is worth the money. So there's lots of different pieces. Um, this one's, some are um, more of a cream than a white. There's a string in there. Some are just, you know, leftover end pieces. I like this one. You can cut that apart and use those little flowers on there. There's two uh, roses on there. This one has a little red flower. So, $10 for number 39. These are little quilt pieces that were sewn together. They are, well, little quilt blocks, I'll say. Um, they're all gonna be $2 each and you're gonna get um, 15 in each one. So let me put these in order and then I'll tell you what's in all of them. So number 40 mostly is going to be blue and reds, but you're gonna get random um, ones that you can use for say um, 4th of July, Memorial Day, there's some for um, Christmas, um, there's some for Valentine's or a love theme journal. So that one is 40. 41 is um, these are just um, more vintagey ones. I like this one it has a little coffee cup in it. There's a little um, circus there. I mean, I think they're all vintage, but this just has a more of a retro type and you'll get lots of different patterns in here. Forty-two is probably the same as the last one. Just random. That could be fall. I like that one. Okay. Forty-three. Coming up, 43. This one is all Christmas patterns. Pretty sure, yeah. All Christmas patterns. Get the candy canes, trees, bows.
and I will be coming back with more um, fabric later, fabric um, quilt pieces and um, just bundles. 44 is more of the red and blue, but that also varies. And let's see, that last number was 44, 45, and then 46, I believe is the last one. So 45 is a bundle of fabric and that's $5. I like this one. This is a probably a fat quarter there. It's a newer piece, but this is really vintage right here. Really pretty. You get a large piece of that. You get this one. That's more of a blue, well, kind of a bluish black. I think I'm colorblind. <laughs> yeah, because this one is blue and red with apples on it. And for some reason, I just love this pattern right here on the orange and black together. So yeah, $5 for 45. And the last one in this um, video is 46, and it's going to be $10. Um, it's twenty by fifteen. And I, I don't know what they were using this for, but um, it does have um, what's it called? My mind gone blank on, but it's padded, and um, this is the outside of it. I don't know. Maybe it was a placemat, and it does have really vintage. Um, I don't know if it is actually, um, what do they call that? Forgot again. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty. And you can cut that up and use it for journals. And that's $10. So hopefully you saw something you like, and I will continue making more videos today. Thank you.